Hi, Mark. <clears throat> so I've taken your sentence, and I can see what the problem is. So when you've got your TM connected, it's giving you the numbers. You can see they're highlighted, so when I press Control, comma, I get the numbers, but it's not recognizing the units, which is why I guess you want to put them in your turn base. It's not going to be a clever thing to do to put them in a turn base, I don't think. Not if you want them in one go. You could, you could put them in there and you get it in two goes. But a better solution might be to use something like the auto suggest, the regex auto suggest match provider, which is this little application from the Open Exchange. Um, so I'll be fairly quick because you can pause this and go and find this yourself and have a look at it. But the way this works, if I just click on view and I bring it up, you can see I've got this extra little tool, uh, extra little um, view part down here, which is called the regex match auto suggest provider. And what I've done is I've added just one rule for non-recognized units and numbers. So I've created a regular expression to find the numbers based on what you've exactly what you put here. If you've got more complex numbers, then you need to make the expression more complex. Um, but the first part inside these first brackets picks up the first number. The second part relates to what's called a variable. And if you look over here, I've got a variable tab. And what this allows me to do is to put source units and their appropriate translation. So I noticed you've, you made them all lowercase when they went to English. So I've got an uppercase for the source, lowercase for the target. If I go back over there, you see I've called it units inside those little hash symbols, which is the code that gets used by this application. So my variable name is called units. <coughs> Excuse me. And I've called up this here. I've called up the variable name. So basically all that happens is when I start typing, if I type the one, for example, you can see I've already get, I'm already getting um, the correct thing. I could just enter whichever one you want. Whoops, excuse me, I was if I'm asking the wrong place. You could almost, I could just pick the one I wanted straight away like that. I could pick the other one if I wanted to by going like that. And if I kept on typing, it would narrow it down anyway. So you, I would, it would take me automatically to the right one and I hit enter. That's probably what you wanted based on what you were saying. It's not going to populate them automatically, but while you're translating it, it is going to allow you to very quickly get the right unit in. And the really cool thing about the variables is that you can build up a list of all your SI units in here, um, what the source is and what the target is, and they'll automatically be picked up by this same rule once you add them to this table. Um, so maybe that would be a good solution for you.